That's how you'd expect to get drinking water in Canada. But for many Indigenous communities, that's not the case. There are 35 long-term and 26 short-term drinking water advisories in Indigenous communities across Canada. This does not include private systems. Waters are contaminated with bacteria, chemicals, and or heavy metals, depending on the community. Water in these communities is regulated by the federal government, and not the provincial government, which applies to all other Canadians. So the water quality is not held to the same standard. Since 2016, the government invested $6.2 billion to solving this issue. However, this takes a long time because water treatment plants take three to four years to build. All the remaining water advisories are either do not consume or boil water advisories, so they're not safe for drinking, but they're also not safe for cleaning babies or elderly. So to deal with the dirty water, people must either boil the water or they have to get it in by trucks, which is inefficient and expensive. The mobile rain harvesting system provides drinking water to households in the Canadian Indigenous communities. As such, we are addressing UN Sustainability Target 6.1 by achieving universal and equ equitable access to clean drinking water for all. Our product is designed to be retrofitted to a standard 250 liter rain barrel. The container is to be made of high density polyethylene since it is safe, durable and recyclable. The system features a 10 square meter catchment surface, utilizing a hybrid polyester and polyurethane material that is supported by flexible metal rods for easy setup and takedown. This system will collect 15 liters per hour from rainfall. We are not using a rooftop system since debris and toxins from roofing materials can leach into the water. The flexible material of the catchment system can also be cleaned more easily, putting less stress on the ceramic filters. First the water passes through the mesh filter, which is used to remove large debris. Then the water passes through ceramic candle filters, which filter 1 litre of water per hour. Our system has 4 ports to attach a filter, meaning you can have up to 4 litres per hour of filtration flow rate. Of the many methods of purifying water, reverse osmosis, UV, ion exchange filters and distillation, we chose ceramic candle filters for the following reasons. They are effective in removing bacteria, protozoa, viruses and fine particles from the water. It also greatly improves the taste and smell of water. It is passive and operates under gravity. It is cheap, costing roughly $50 each and must only be replaced about every 6 months. They are easily set up, cleaned and are widely available. A mechanical pump is mounted to the side of the container that will pump water from the clean water basin out of the barrel. The pump is the best option as it is cheap, can be replaced easily, and has little negative effect on the environment. In total, one unit will cost $550. Our product does not require energy and is made of environmentally friendly materials. Mitigating the need for water trucks reduces carbon emissions. Our solution is inclusive because we are helping indigenous communities which are often neglected due to colonization. Helping them reduces disparities in water distribution across Canada. To make our project a reality, we would seek to build a few units using money from local competitions, funds from the university, and effective digital marketing. We could then find funds to manufacture a myriad of units to sell to Indigenous communities. This product can also be generalized and distributed all over the world. Everyone contributed to all parts of the project, but each member focused on what best suits their abilities. Patrick worked on the background research and worked with the Mark to come up with the design. Adam made the CAD model using SolidWorks, and Wilson led the video production. Throughout the project, we kept, kept in touch through Discord and scheduled in-person work sessions. We used PowerPoint presentations, sketches, and CAD models to facilitate sharing ideas. Thank you for watching our video, and a special thanks to the judges and organizers for their time.